Hey guys, Paul here from Military History Gear Review. Do you get tons of these dumb giant tins of popcorn for Christmas? Do you not want to eat that much popcorn? Or maybe you're like me and you did want to eat that much popcorn and now you have an empty tin. Well, let's see if we can turn this into a DIY camping stove. Be sure to stick around. concept of this camping stove well it is first very simple right it's extremely cheap I spent as little money as possible making this it hopefully doesn't require a lot of engineering right nothing about this is precision made um, and my goal is to have something that's relatively portable um, the nice thing about this because the stove top is actually also the lid right you can actually store stuff in this when you're not using it right also this stove pipe we're going to roll it out and we should be able to uh, get almost three feet of stove out of this flashing right so let's see how we do that all right so as you can see i've got this big old roll of aluminum flashing and when we roll it horizontally right it's quite compact but when we roll it vertically let's roll it from the other side right when we roll it vertically it forms a decently long stovepipe then all we need to do of course is use the one one wing nut screw right i've got there and we're just going to thread it in to its uh other holes here and that should be all we need to get this first roll in place and i know this is famous last words it's kind of sharp it is kind of sharp and so it's easy to slice yourself open but I'm just gonna try to be really careful. And there we go. So that makes sure that we have a relatively fixed diameter. We wanna make sure it fits in our stove. All right, next I've got these worm gear clamps that I'm just gonna be clamping on to the stove. All right, so once you've got your stove top rolled up, you just put the lid on and the opposite opposite of your your door, and then you just gotta slide this bad boy right in. Right, and there is your stove. All right, so here's our stove all set up. I'm gonna collect some kindling, right? It's pretty damp out, but I'm gonna try to get enough to get this thing started. All right, guys, let's try to get this fire going. So we've got our door opened up. All right, let's see if we can set in here some of our dry we have got a, a dry set of twigs here right that should work okay um one of the things that i did not get in here that i sort of speculatively wanted to was a uh was uh netting at the bottom right but you know you can't always get that you can't always get what you want as they say so that's okay so we're gonna build a nice little base here Right. All right, so that's lit. So we're gonna just set that in there. 
All right, we didn't need our candle. And that's okay, probably save, could have potentially saved us a match. All right. All right, so then we're just gonna seal this shut. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of there's a lot of gap here, and that's by design. I really wanted to make sure that that air could get in, you know, but I want to make sure that the, it creates uh, a sufficient negative draw. So let's see. We can see it is drawing up the smokestack down right through there. So yeah, that's pretty good progress. All right, so we're gonna get this thing fired up, and uh, I'll, we'll see uh, in a sec how it goes. So as you can see, it's going right along. It it has sort of slanted a bit in response to the heat, um, but I don't think that's a huge problem, honestly. And you can see in there, even with this really damp fuel, it is it's it's burning quite well. Um, the fact that it's totally surrounded by a heat reflector, I'm sure, is helping out. So we're just gonna keep that going a little bit. You can see it's starting to burn the paint off, which which is sort of my intent with do, with starting doing it outside. I want to burn off any material that might be toxic or hazardous um, so it's not in the tent with me uh, while I'm sleeping. All right, guys, take a look inside there. You can see that the, the fire is so hot inside the can that it is melting the aluminum flashing. Oh, shit. Um, but yeah, there's there's our flashing, and you can see it, it it's almost completely uh, sealed shut. Um, so that's that's a problem. Um, you know, the the popcorn tin itself is actually holding up fine. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's just the flashing that seems to have become so problematic for us. Okay, this has reached to the point where it's just, this This is the last camping trip of 2020, and this is the pinnacle camping trip of 2020. I mean, I mean Jesus, my pants are falling off. Okay, here's what's going to happen. I am going to use the cook of my stove because I still love the fact that it's got a nifty little cooktop. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make some quesadillas. And then I'm gonna go home.
pretty good. We had some disasters. My pants are completely destroyed. Um, my stove is completely destroyed. Um, but I had quesadillas. And uh, we learned what not to do when making our own stove. And that's good too. Um, if you guys enjoyed seeing my suffering, please like the video. And if you enjoy more content like this, except where I actually successfully do stuff, um, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, and I hope you guys have a good holiday uh a happy 2021 and next year i will see you guys on the trail